drop the tyre pressure by 20 psi all round, including the front. For the simple reason is it spreads the tyre, gives me more traction, especially for the terrain we're just about to go through. So, right, this is why I have got the tyre pressure. And you're probably thinking, why is he filming all this? But you'll you'll see in a second. Right off in the dirt track, this is. And then we're going down. Um, to let the tyre the tire pressure down gives me a lot more traction, so I can climb the hills quite so, comfortably. We'll come down the woods to pick up some more trees and drop the tyres down because it's exceptionally muddy. I didn't want to get stuck and I wanted to try this out. So you can see I've not even got out the bag and it's a compressor. It's supposed to be quite a heavy duty one for motorhomes and everything else. So I'm going to have a look at it. I've not used it, I've not tested it, I've no idea if it works. Looks impressive, so it's a double headed compressor, so I was told. Comes with the bag. I'll just move that out of the way. Ah, nice bag. So it comes with the bag, all the leads, and a set. So, so yep. Yeah. And the, this is the adapter on the end. I actually thought it was different to that. Because that screws on. So, there we go. You've got okay. Right, I've got to test this out because I've not used it before. I've just noticed now that there is. I didn't know that. Torch and crocodile clips. I thought it'd be um, uh, what do you call it? Cigarette lighter, but it's not. So I've got to figure out how to put that. So I've got a battery under the seat, which I might try and link to. I'll see if I can get to that now. Okay, so I've connected to the battery under the seat. What I was going to do, what I, which I am going to do actually, let's move that out of the way and just show you here. I'll just flip you around underneath there. I built in a control panel and I've got spare wires which I've not used yet for each one of the switches. Uh, that's, I'll put that in a link in the video down below. Uh, and this switch panel has got a isolation switch on it. I've got 12.4 volts, USB for the lights, and each one of these controls what goes on inside the van. So I've got four spare, I believe. Yeah, so I've only got two that I'm using. All right, so that'll be at a later date. So I'll flip you back round. There we go. So we have a light. That says light. That's all right. That'll do. I wasn't expecting it, so that's a bit of a bonus. And then... Compressor. So I might give that a go as well. So it says, pull the thumb back, which is your thumb. That one there. And that goes on. And then... Yeah, Quite a bit of pressure coming out of that. And we've got an adapter... For football, something else. It says boat, but it'd take a while on a boat, wouldn't it? Unless you just put that in. I don't know. We'll give it a go. Right, let's have a look on one of these tyres. Okay, so I'd like what I'd like to do is build a compressor in the van, so I might have to get an extension 
one of those, I'm sure you can get them. At the moment, oh, what the hell is that? Book of dirt. Oh, I suppose we're going to get dirt if we're in the woods. There we go. So we've got 30 PSI. Which is a bit low, really. So let's fire up. Okay, we've got a tire pressure of 35 a second. I don't know if the camera is on. So, well, it's pretty quick, reasonably quiet. Well, within reason. But it's fast, that is fast. I mean, we were at 30 psi. About a minute. There's a bit of a review on this thing. It's an eBay one again. I'll let you know how much it costs. That's not connected to the engine or anything, that's just how it is. 11.5, so it's taking a bit of power, but that's alright. I'm not going to stop it there. That's 50, 50 psi, and these are big tyres. So quite a good lead comes with it. Bringing this back to the vehicle. Okay, oh, she's like I said, I've dropped them down a bit because of the terrain we're in. Let's just uh, do him. Keep them safe. Nothing worse, you've got a dicky valve over, doesn't it? Cock up. Alright, hold on. So it just screws on. Nice and quick. What we've got there on the PSI reading. There's a remote control that comes on this. That's my finger. On this um, uh, control, and it keeps switching my phone on and off when it feels like. So I've took it off now. Right. So we're looking at 30 psi again. Chunky tyres on this, I think I've seen that. There you go. Can you see? Right. I've not got stuck so far. Touch wood. And we're in the woods now. See, it's pretty quick. I've not stopped the video and uh, we're coming up to. Red one on the outside, so it's is that 40? Okay. So you got 25, 30, 35, 40, and then 50 coming up. We'll stop at 50. Okay, that's 50. We'll leave it at that. And then just to undo it, just quickly. The dust anyway. cap back on again. I'm impressed. I'll go and carry on the rest now. Uh, oh, turn the light off as well. Thank you. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up. Like that. No, like that. And then uh, up and coming videos of uh, no subscribe and uh, notification bell over there. That'd be great. And over here, up and coming videos. Thank you very much, folks. And we'll catch you in the next video. I forgot to mention um, 150 psi dual piston. 
run for 15 minutes and then let it rest and cool down. And this is the last tyre, it took about 5 minutes to do all of them. That's away, it comes in its own bag. About 27 quid, I think about 27 quid. I'll put a link in the description down below. Me personally, yeah, definitely worth it. I've got one in my motorhome. Uh, nowhere near as powerful as this. This is very, very fast. Okay, right, just thanks for the update. Well, thank you. Giving you a quick update. All the best. Take care.